Thick, creamy, and so easy to make, this eggnog is gonna become an instant classic for you. Hi, I'm Lindsay from Life, Love & Sugar, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a classic, simple, homemade eggnog that is gonna be perfect for the holidays. We love a good, thick and creamy eggnog, so we're gonna use some extra egg yolks, and that's gonna help thicken it up. And then we also love a lot of good spice, so we've got plenty of nutmeg and cloves that we're gonna include. So to get started, you're gonna start with your egg yolks and add those to your mixer. We're actually gonna whip those for about six to eight minutes. It's gonna add air into the egg yolks that kinda of lightens it and adds volume. We're also gonna add in our sugar. And we're gonna pop this on our mixer for six to eight minutes and let it go. All right, so we've had our egg yolks and sugar mixing together for about eight minutes. And they are now pale and creamy, and they've kind of thickened up a little bit. So you can kind of see they create kind of a ribboning effect in the bowl. So when you lift your whisk, it actually kind of holds its shape for a second before it dissolves back into the mixture. And so that's kind of what you're looking for. We've got thick, pale, creamy egg yolks. We're gonna set these aside while we heat up our milk and cream on the stove. So now we're gonna heat our milk and cream and spices. We're actually gonna use that to slowly heat our eggs by slowly adding some of our warm cream into our eggs. It tempers the eggs so that you don't scramble them. So we're gonna start off by adding our milk and cream to our pan. Our heavy cream. We've got plenty of nutmeg and a couple of whole cloves that we'll remove later and a little salt. We're just gonna heat this over medium heat until it just begins to simmer. Okay, so our cream is just starting to simmer, so we're gonna go ahead and add it to our egg yolks. So you just wanna add a small amount to begin with and make sure you're whisking your egg yolks. Be careful not to burn yourself, of course. And just kinda keep slowly adding the milk. We're just gently warming up our egg. And then we've got our eggs at temperature and we can add everything back to our pan and keep heating it. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna use some kind of a thermometer. I have just a regular food thermometer. It's digital, which I really like, and it's a quick read. We wanna continue cooking this until it reaches between 160 and 170 degrees because that's when eggs are food safe. Okay, so we've got our eggnog to temperature. So we're gonna wanna take it off the heat. We can add our vanilla extract. Stir that in. And then now you just want to make sure you remove those whole cloves that we had in there and then you can pour it into a container and let it cool. It's still fairly thin right now, but as it cools, it will thicken and become extra rich and creamy and so delicious. Okay, so once everything's cooled off, you've got a thick, creamy, and delicious eggnog. It's so easy to make. You can add alcohol to it if you want. Whiskey, bourbon, a spiced rum, all would be excellent. For the full recipe, head over to lifeloveandsugar.com.